Hi there, President Obama. My name is Jocelyn Gayboy, and I live in the Lincoln Square neighborhood of Chicago, Illinois. Uh, just yesterday, I was walking home uh, from the L to my house, and I actually just thought about the fact that I wanted to write you a letter. And then today, I got an email asking us to send in videos or emails to share our stories uh, about our economic hardships or our stories during this um, economic crisis during this kind of, you know, our uh, during the recession and everything. So it's kind of interesting that uh, these two things came together at the same time. I work uh, for a midwife um, in the Lincoln Square neighborhood and actually that in and of itself is, is um, a job that's rife with stories about health care and people not, you know, compromising their their health choices due to, you know, lack of insurance and, and all that sort of stuff. I'm the office manager, so I see lots of that every day. But that's not what I'm going to talk about, actually. I was walking home uh, from the L, and I, there's something, I don't know what, I pulled something in my foot, and I was walking home, and I felt it again, and I thought to myself, you know, it would be really nice to be able just to go to the doctor and get this checked out. But I don't have health insurance, and neither does my boss. We checked it out, we looked into it, uh, into getting group health insurance, and both of us take um, some medications, and due to that, um, the cost to insure us both, even with the business paying half, is more than both of us can afford, and so we were unable to get health insurance. And luckily for me, um, I get to, I'm on a patient assistance program, so my medicines are in fact taken care of um, because the cost of all of them together is far more than what I pay in rent. But I just thought to myself, you know, it just would be really nice if, if I didn't have to think about that. If I, if I didn't have to think about, you know, because it's not horrible, it's not debilitating, I can walk, I don't have to go to the emergency room. So it just gets crossed off my list. It's something that I'm unable to do. I'm not, I don't have the money to go to the doctor to have him look at this and um, see what it is, you know? It, it would be something that if I had insurance, I'd make an appointment for. And I just thought about that and I thought, how unfortunate that, that that's something that I'm unable to do, you know? Go to the dentist. I know I need to go. It's been a couple of years. I normally go twice a year if I have health insurance. And um, and I just can't go. And I just I don't know. I think it's I think it's um, it's a shame, you know. Um, yeah. And then the other thing I thought about today, actually, before I got this email as well, was I was grocery shopping, and I literally again, I live I live paycheck to paycheck. I'm probably not the best manager of my money that I could be. But I don't have a lot of extra money either. And um, I was grocery shopping and picking up a few things. And I was, the produce uh, aisle is, you know, kind of the first thing uh, I run into on my way, you know, into Jewel. And I stopped. It, it had been a while since I got groceries. And so I was picking up a few things and I stopped at the fruit and I literally thought to myself that that I would splurge and get some strawberries and some raspberries and again I just don't think that fruit should have to be something that is is a luxury or or something that you know I should have to consider to be something that I'm treating myself to you know that fruit you know is, is something that is um an extravagance which is which is really too bad, you know. That if that if I'm if I'm living on a budget, that you know I should have to like section out certain things, and that fruit should have to be one of them, because God knows if I'm doing that, that there are people who don't even have a jewel, you know what I mean, near them. They're that they're getting their they're getting meals or their their groceries at you know the Walgreens or the the corner store. So God knows that that you know. They probably aren't even really getting that good of a selection of fruit, much less um, at a price that's reasonable. So yeah, I was just thinking about that, and I just wanted to write you a letter and tell you 
that I'm glad that you're doing everything that you can to help us and I think the stimulus plan is a great idea and um, you know I know there's all these comparisons being tossed around How about Lincoln and FDR and all of that and you know I think what people sometimes don't take into consideration is that so, sometimes you know sometimes we just need a little help sometimes the those construction projects and those those infrastructure projects and and the maintenance projects create jobs and give people work and they also keep things running and they don't let them fall into disrepair again and not only not only to mention that not doing all of those things and and not taking care of all of those things and letting you know letting the kids run the show and let letting you know while dad's away or whatever and letting the house go to hell hasn't served us very well like we kind of have a crappy situation right now letting it go that way letting kids letting kids run the house you know kind of I just kind of liking it I liking it to you know like your, your parents going on vacation and you went into their you know bedroom and took all the secret stash of money and you had a big party and you did whatever you want with it and now mom and dad came home and the house is trashed and there's no food left and you know and now you have to pick up the pieces and figure out how we're gonna make the family budget this month and, and not to mention clean everything up and make the house look good again I don't know whatever so anyway it's hard out here and I know you know that and I know people like me know that but I don't know you just wanted us to share our stories so I did and I hope you'll come back to Chicago one day and I can meet you or something so anyway yay thanks <laughs>